Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome here. Uh, I'm really excited to take a pitch here about the uh, developer experience. My name is uh, Pavel Michalik. I am CEO of uh, DX Heroes or DX Heroes. Uh, my colleagues always uh, mention to me uh, uh, focus on uh, DX, not pronounce it DX Heroes. So <laughs> this is. A completely different thing about about developer experience. So I have focus on this. Honestly, it, it's great to present developer experience on the stage, what is called wasteland. <laughs> I think it's a, it's it's a perfect fit, and uh, I do my best to explain what is developer experience is. I expected that uh, this talk will be our uh, last talk of this day. For some changes, we we move this talk on on the uh, on the morning. So I expected that everyone will be sleepy and tired. So uh, the first uh, thing I wanted to uh, move you up, stand up, and uh, do some uh, five uh, squats. But we skip it for now, and I have a question of you. How many of you know something about a developer experience? Heard about it on uh, use it in, in your work? I see a few hands up, so uh, it will be, it'll be, it'll be much easier. So at the start, I have a short story. This will be first part of this story. This is story is about two teams uh, developing one, one product. This teams, one was response, uh, this is from the past. This is uh, about, about uh, development, which uh, was involved in four years ago. Uh, this one of this team was responsible for services on this product, and the second team was responsible for business logic. Uh, <coughs> when we start the development of this product, uh, in this setup, we have about 50, 50 uh, major issues reported by the client per week, which is horrible. Uh, so we started thinking about some changes, how to, how to improve this, how to improve experience of the client, how to change uh, things, uh, how they, uh, they implement, uh, implement uh, they, this product, and we manage it. For now, I, I keep the resolution of this on the on the uh, end of the presentation so we start with the with the developer experience at first some small introduction almost a year ago here have great talk uh, Vratia Kalenda from uplifting about developer experience in meantime happens many things we started new brand which is DX Heroes. Uh, this brand uh, is uh, covered by a new company, which is subsidiary of uh, Uplifting. We uh, set a headquarters for this and start to communicate with the client, uh, create the brand, uh, create a proposition of the DX Heroes, and uh, so on. This is after after a year, we have uh, currently about three clients focus on on uh, how to improve developer experience, and I think it's it's great. So, but we realize that the developer experience is not about improving of the lives of the developers. It's also about products, also also about all team members which is involved into into product development it's also about uh, about the product if they have sense to implement 
if, if, and it's also about the business. If you, if you see uh, the, the changes uh, in uh, IT currently, in, uh, in development, mainly in corp corporation, you may see that uh, practically every big cor corporation changed the uh, way how uh, develop their, their softwares. Uh, main, uh, mainly this is visible in, in bank. If you know some implementation in, in banks, that you know that almost every big bank uh, change implementation from waterfall to agile style. And uh, part of this has to be uh, developer experience. Not many of, uh, of uh, managers of these banks and, and companies and corporations uh, realize yet this is the important part of the of the implementation. So this is not developer experience. It's not just only about developers. It's all uh, uh, all team members and also about the how company implement uh, whole company implements their products. So what the developer experience is, I think that probably everyone currently knows what the user experience is. Well, how can help, how can be uh, applied on, on the product, how it works with the client. Uh, developer experience is almost the same, but developer is user in this process, and user interface, which is important to you in user experience, uh, is development process. How is uh, application developed? How team works? How communicates? Uh, it includes uh, not only development; it, it, it includes uh, soft skills, which uh, have to be uh, kept by the by the team and so on. What developer experience affects? Practically, in, in the simple, simple view on the, the, this problematic, this is uh, product and team. Because uh, if we will have uh, some great team, which uh, is uh, perfectly set up, using perfect uh, tooling and is happy, and this team we give to, to implement some, some meaningless product, this team in, in time will be less and less happy and uh, turn into disappointment team and uh, start the fluctuations and so on. So good product, good setup of the product, good validate product is important and also team is important because it, it's, uh, it's important in, from, from the other side, from the other side too. So. Low uh, developer experience and product. Uh, if if product is useless for the customer, it's not validated by some some process b before start of the implementation. If uh, or if the product is never finished, const uh, pr uh, there is uh, underway some uh, corrections and uh, rework. Uh, this is also it, this is this also lowest uh, developer experience. If the product is unstable, we may have great product, and if this product is un unstable, this also lowest developer experience on the product. For example, as I mentioned, that team which have uh, 50, uh, 50 major issues per week, this product was great. Without without any discussion, but this the, that two two teams. If you remember, I have picture of two unhappy teams for this are extremely unhappy. Although they uh, work on on perfect product, so this is uh, the st stability also also. Uh, uh, Important, for example, technologically obsolete product is also also a kind of product which lowest uh, developer experience and so on. From other side, 
allow the uh, developer experience and the team. Uh, this uh, may be measured bar by uh, several ways. Uh, one, I think, highest mark about about low developer experiences in in the team is high fluctuation. If you have unhappy uh, unhappy uh, team members or developers, they constantly look around and and goes on different projects on different uh, on different teams and so on. Also, low mo low motivation for the team is is uh, a measure of uh, of uh, developer experience in the team and failure to meet deadlines and so on. Areas. As you as you can see, uh, there is practically each area of the development of the software when where uh, is um, uh, developer experience or increases of the, of the developer ex ex uh, experience applicable uh, from uh, in the, or in the uh, DX heroes we are focusing on several part of this uh, major involvement involvement of our team is in the research and analysis and in development but also other parts of, of the of the implementation is is important important from from this perspective how to set a good developer experience uh, not exist any any uh, standard procedure uh, uh, when I set some one, two, three points and uh, this will uh, increase uh, developer experience, experience. From that years when we start with uh, DX Heroes, we realized that uh, practically every product, practically every, every team needs a specific approach how to set developer experience but it's up uh, exist a lot of a uh, lot of best practice which may they may be active uh, applicable to test if it's possible to increase developer in experience in the teams and uh, uh, some set of best practice which is uh, necessary to to high uh, to increase developer experience in the, in the teams examples i have two examples but uh, there is a lot of them uh, which is which is important to mention but i prepare only uh, just only two one is uh, poor code quality if you have poor code quality you may apply code reviews and pull requests or practically without without words about this uh, introduce any uh, unit test and code coverage it's necessary to to create a great great product implement ci cd it's not too uh, too uh, complicated to, to manage this this point uh, add testers to your team or decrease team workflow. Uh, practically every point of, of, of this list is, uh, is important for good product. Uh, but as, uh, as I mentioned, not of this is applicable on each, each team. But if uh, team look on this, consider if this is uh, good for for implementation and try to applicate this uh, best practice. Uh, this always uh, increase uh, increase uh, developer in experience and it is measurable because poor code quality is is something what imp uh, uh, directly impact impact uh, clients. Second uh, second example is uh, demotivated team. This is uh, uh, against against poor code quality. The motivated team is uh, something soft. You 
cannot uh, take it into the hands or see in the tables, uh, but uh, you may see it on on the, on the, uh, war, the uh, development uh, on uh, some retrospectives and so on. So solution for this are verify and validate the products because uh, if this is pro if, if if the product is is uh, not usable for the clients is also this demotivate the team improve workplace and condition set a clear communication less micromanagement i specifically mentioned this because i uh, i am in development almost 20 years and uh, most of the managers especially if the, if you have some tight um, timeline on or, on or uh, deadlines uh, start to micromanage team this is highly demotivate practically every every uh, team member uh, uh, and the sec uh, and last one uh, practically is is uh, related to less micromanagement uh, so get rid of an inexperienced team lead or colleagues so, some words about uh, the x heroes approach uh, when we started, we uh, shortly re realized that we have to split our brand into the th uh, three categories. One is service, which helps to identify your problems and fi find, find some solutions. Uh, I uh, next, would, uh, next will speak about how we, uh, how we manage this. Second one is community and knowledge. I think it, this is an important thing. With uh, within uh, developer experience, so uh, all teams, all uh, developers uh, may share knowledge and uh, problems, especially problems, because without problems, uh, there are no solution for them. And tools, tooling, tooling is also important. And uh, in developer experience, it's a uh, from the perspective of the developers, I um, actually see that the developers, for developers, this is the first uh, attempt how to improve developer experience. They start to look about on, on some tools and uh, project management applications and so on. So tools is also also important. So <coughs> about the service. Service. Our service is uh, is pretty simple. We start to communicate with the team, and we do screening. Screening is something when we uh, see what the problems are in the team, and uh, where lie these problems. For, for example, if the team is demotivated because uh, implements a solution which is which is wanted only by the managers, but not only, but not by the clients. After this, when we have a list of the problems, we prepare a suggestion. Suggestions is a practical list, a list of best practice and steps how to read, get rid of the problems from the screening. We do the validation when the, with the team leads. It's, this is necessary because this is a this is a, a service. We um, don't want to applicate or start applicate something what, what is not wanted by the team members and especially a team lead. And after this, we do injection. Injection is a uh, it's a specific and important part of, of this process. We do in just a way that we set into the team our specialist, our specialist which know everything about the problems identified in screening and start and we start implementation with, uh, with, uh, uh, with the team. We start implementation of their products, not we not act as a 
as uh, some advisors and, and uh, mentors. We do work within, within the teams. And this way we teach each team member how to apply on, on the practices and the solution what we see in, uh, from suggestion and so on. So this is about the services. That injection is important because when we leave the team, so we are able to, we are able to let all knowledge within the team without us. About the community and, and knowledge. We prepare two streams uh, which supports, uh, supports community and knowledge. One not yet validated too much is uh, the X Heroes Manifesto. You may look on this if you if you are happy with all the stages stances in this manifesto. You may sign this, uh, and if you see some problems within the manifesto, you may also propose some changes. And second one, very important is knowledge base. We started to build a knowledge base. This knowledge base is open source. Uh, all, everyone of you so are welcome. Look on, on the knowledge base. Currently we have about uh, 50, uh, 50 uh, uh, best practice and articles describing, describing how to uh, solve, solve uh, specific problems and uh, knowledge base is also open source. So if you see some problems in, in, in this, if you have some proposals on the changes, you may uh, go into the GitHub and uh, propose some changes and or prepare some new article. Look at this. And last one, third, is tooling. We started uh, implementation of the X scanner. The X scanner is open source. It's a tool which lets you measure your developer experience by your uh, outcome. So uh, you may install this, get from from the from the GitHub, uh, run uh, on your code, and you may see not only score of the developer experience uh, of the, within your code, but you may see also recommendation how to improve your code. Look at this. We have uh, on this venue uh, stand. Stand is uh, on, the, uh, on the next floor. And you may ask us, how to how to uh, cooperate and, or use this open source tools. Currently, we support uh, JavaScript and TypeScript and Java, but we are preparing also different uh, all few set of of uh, good known uh, languages and so on. So there is GitHub GitHub uh, link. End of the story. Uh, what we do with this, if you remember that the two teams I mentioned on, on start of the presentation, what we do with these two, two teams. First thing, we merge it. Because uh, his responsibility, if you, if you remember, was service and, and business logic. So each team practically not work on the product. They work on their concrete uh, part of the product, not, not on the product. So we made it together. Uh, so from this point, they start on implementation of the product, not, not on implementation of service of our business logic. Uh, we set uh, some limited set of agile rituals. For example, uh, uh, retrospectives, and uh, we broach on these retrospectives also client. So client may uh, affect uh, next implementation after after each each uh, 
uh, after each uh, sprint. Uh, after this, we lowered that 50, 50 uh, issues per week on only five per month, which is, I think, great. And uh, we also get a great feedback from the from the from our clients, and this uh, this was really really uh, easy to set it. So this is this is end of my presentation. Thank you for your attention, and there are some questions. Thank you, Pavel. Can we get the slide up, please? You can also see the Slido link or the link, uh, the hashtag up there in every presentation now. So don't, don't forget to ask questions. Yeah, uh, I see you side to get rid of inexperienced colleagues. Where is the point you try to teach them to be better or fire them? <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a good question. Uh, Fire them is the uh, uh, most simplest solution, but a um, very short way, because you have to start hiring and so on and so on. Yes, first step for that type of colleagues is start to teach them or assign them on different projects <laughs> where they may act much, much better. So yes, first step is to teach them all right, thank you. Uh, this one is more of a general question. Uh, why is the hair in your logo pointing down and not up? <laughs> this uh, this is not not an appointment. This is the heart shape. If, if I show it, I, I I will show it. This is the shape of the heart. Heart. <laughs> uh, is team communication improvement a good start to improve uh, DX, please? What is your experience and useful tools to improve it, please? Yes, uh, this is practically first step, uh, uh, step in the setup of new team. And if you have some unfunctional team or demotivated team, you have to at first time look how they communicate with each, each, uh, each between. Uh, for this is many tools. Uh, for us, for our clients, we mostly use the Slack for communication, whereas the channels, whereas a lot of opportunities, a lot of integrations with other development tools. This is the first step to set a team and or, or correct some dysfunctional team. All right, thank you. The next one is... Uh, how can you improve as an individual developer experience in a company that has bad developer experience? Sorry? Uh, the, the first one? How can yeah, you improve yeah. as an individual something in developer experience? Uh, a company with bad DX. Uh, as an individual developer. Uh, yes, many many change, changes from uh, this is a very good question because uh, I think this is uh, this is the most problem in in uh, each each team. Uh, I think first uh, it's it's very very hard to improve something from within out. So this is practically the the, the, the question about this. I think that first step is to communicate with team lead. Communication with team lead mostly is very hard because team lead have different focus than the uh, mostly in in uh, in work setup or wrong setup mostly have different view of things than uh, team members. So first thing is to com start to communicate with team lead and not with the problems, go uh, go for this uh, uh, conversation also with the uh, proposal of solutions. This problem, <coughs> this is the first step. Uh, and I know that if there is a lot, there is a lot of team leads that they uh, listen to this. 
So, so first step is to uh, communicate with the, your team lead and propose a solution, not just point on the problems. All right, thank you. I think the, there's one more question that's kind mm -hmm. of connected to that. It's this one uh, that you used, we did or we started. Uh, together. So the question is, what does it mean? Is it just the management or is it the whole team with developers and management? Yeah. Yes. During the talk, what do those we mean? Yes. Uh, okay. My my presentation is uh, have two parts. One uh, describing uh, the ex heroes as. Uh, brand and one describing common approach in developer experience. So when I used we, uh, I mean uh, the ex uh, heroes as a brand. So I think, I think the question really was something like uh, if it came from the management, like yeah. the change or the change came from the individual? Uh, from the individuals. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you for that. So how does uh, developer experience relate to Scrum or yeah. less? Uh, Scrum is a part of our proposal if this is applicable for a uh, for specific problem. So we use uh, Scrum or less or some lean uh, approach of implementation as a, a solution for problems within the team. We realized that uh, there, is, uh, there is teams or products, mainly products, not only teams, uh, when, where uh, Scrum is not applicable. Uh, uh, some example, if you go into the bank and uh, start uh, and uh, it's uh, practically un, uh, unchangeable uh, how a core system in the bank is developed. This is because, uh, because, for example, this type of implementation is absolutely non-related uh, with the Scrum and less. Okay, thank you. So I think this one is a really interesting one. Do you publish developer experience score of some companies? <laughs> Not yet. For comparison. Not yet. I don't know if we <laughs> plan to do this. As I mentioned, uh, the X scanner. Uh, as a as a tool, we prepare also enterprise part of this of this uh, of this tool. We want to provide this tool for companies to measure developer experience, and if they want to uh, display uh, display uh, the X score of this of this, uh, they may. Uh, what we do currently, we uh, connect uh, the X uh, scanner with our knowledge base, so everyone may check uh, how to implement how to implement problems or how to solve problems detected by uh, the X scanner, and we want al also uh, display some score. So if uh, some companies want to display this score, uh, they may doing uh, through the the X scanner. Okay, thank you. And the last question is, uh, I would translate this as, what can I do as a cybersecurity specialist? Yeah, it's a very good question. Cybersecurity specialist is the part of the team. This is a team member which affects the analysis of the product, which affects also, also implementation of the product and uh, other phases uh, from, from start to, to end. So, from the from the poor quality, this is the team member. So, if there is a poor quality of the code related with uh, some security and and uh, analysis, depending on some some security, cyber specialist is very important for this. Okay, thank you very much, Pavel. Thank so, you. With that, I think that was all. Yeah, if you have any more questions for Pavel, please reach out to him after after his talk. And thank you. It. Thank you. Thank you.